Hello, my name is Travis Smith. I'm an instructor at Health One EMS. I am here today to talk to you about the administration of nebulized albuterol. The first thing we do whenever we are performing a skill is to take appropriate BSI precautions. For this skill, we should utilize gloves and safety glasses. As you can see, we have an oxygen-powered nebulizer, oxygen, a dose of albuterol, gloves, and safety glasses. Let's talk about when we would administer nebulized albuterol. Albuterol is used to treat bronchospasm in patients suffering from reactive airway disease. When administering albuterol, we need to check for allergies, contraindications, and incompatibilities. Also, ask the patient about hypersensitivities and cardiac dysrhythmias associated with tachycardia. Once we have received permission from medical control and ensure the patient has no difficulties with albuterol, we must then check the drug itself. Check the expiration date, the concentration, correct medication, and clarity of the drug. In the case of albuterol, it is normally packaged in 2.5 milligrams in 3 milliliters. The next step is to ensure the five rights have been addressed. Do you have the right patient, the right medication, the right dosage and concentration, right time, and right route? Administer the medication according to the order received from medical direction. The appropriate dosage is 2.5 milligrams in 3 milliliters. To administer the medication, you first need to instruct the patient about the effects of albuterol. You need to warn them they may begin to cough, feel jittery, and that their heart will probably speed up. All of these effects are temporary, but may require some coaching from you to get them through it. Begin to assemble the nebulizer. Place the albuterol in the nebulization chamber and screw on the top. Connect the nebulizer to oxygen and set your flow rate to 8 liters per minute. Hand the nebulizer to the patient and instruct them to breathe deeply with the mouthpiece between their lips. Keep talking to a minimum. You don't want the patient taking the nebulizer out of their mouth to answer your questions. This patient will need to be transported and receive an ongoing assessment. Bronchospasm can rebound and when it does, it can be much worse than before. As always, we need to document the administration of albuterol, how much was given and how the patient responded. I have been talking about the administration of nebulized albuterol. This is a useful treatment in the management of patients suffering from bronchospasm. Please refer to your local protocols for administration guidelines. Thanks for watching, good luck, and stay safe.